So you're thinking about moving to Tarpon Springs. Well, this video is for you. I'm gonna tell you a lot of things about the area. I wanna give you an idea so that you can make an informed decision. You can kind of get an overview of the map. You can find out what is in Tarpon Springs and what makes it attractive. I absolutely love Tarpon Springs. It's one of my favorite places on the west coast of Florida. My son just recently was in a play down there, so I spent hours and hours every night waiting for him to get out of rehearsal and just kind of hanging out and exploring Tarpon Springs. And so in this video, I wanna give you the opportunity to look with me at the map of Tarpon Springs and just kind of get an idea of what it's like. So if you are thinking about moving to Tarpon Springs and I don't cover something in this video, please feel free to reach out to me. Just hit me up with a comment below or you can send me a text message or a phone call or an email and I will get back with you all about your questions about Tarpon Springs. So let's get into the map. And as we go to the map, you can see, I wanted to show you where Tarpon Springs is in relation to Tampa. So whenever you think of Tampa Bay, remember you've got uh, Pasco County, you've got Pinellas County, and you've got uh, Hillsborough County. And so this is the entire Tampa Bay area, pretty much right here. Tarpon Springs is over here. You got Tampa here. Now, Tampa is quite a distance from uh, Tarpon Springs and Tampa. They're kind of far apart. Tarpon Springs is located on the north section of the Pinellas County. Pinellas County is this one right here. I'm marking all over this place. But as you can see, P Pinellas County is pretty much all of that. And then you get Pasco County and then Hillsborough County is right about there. Obviously not to scale, but wanted to let you know that, you know, if you're thinking about moving to Tarpon Springs and you need to live or, or work in Tampa, it's still quite a hike, but it's not horrible. You can still get to the airport. You can still get to the Clearwater Airport, the St. Pete Airport, and it's kind of in a pretty decent location and actually it's beautiful. So it's kind of worth living if you want to live on the west coast if you want to live on or near the water then tarpon springs might be your uh, go-to place now i wanted to say too that this video is going to talk a lot about the western part right here on the west side of lake tarpon lake tarpon in itself is awesome and it has a lot of fun boating activities so you could you could check that out too and then east lake in my opinion is is the eastern part of Tarpon Springs, but really East Lake and downtown or the west side of Tarpon Springs, those are kind of two different places. So if you're thinking about moving to Tarpon Springs, that's one thing. And then if you're thinking about moving to East Lake, that is another thing in my opinion. So this video, we're going to focus on the west part of the uh, Tarpon Springs area. And in order to do that, we have to, first of all, talk about the Tarpon Springs sponge dock. So whenever we go, when I go to Tarpon Springs, a lot of it is to go to the Tarpon Springs sponge docks, which is an incredible place where they actually still go out and farm, harvest, they still harvest sponges in the water. And so all of the areas right down through here are, you know, kind of shops and fun places where you can go and walk along and watch the boats and see what's going on right down by this little Ancloat River. There's places to buy sponges. There's places to buy shells and all kinds of fun things right there. If you, There's a lot of people who come to the sponge docks who don't live in Tarpon Springs. People come from all over the country to just see the sponge docks. So if you're thinking about moving, you want to think about the sponge docks as part of that fun opportunity. Now, the second thing that is super awesome about Tarpon Springs, one of my favorite parts about Tarpon Springs, is the downtown area. And I recently came upon the downtown area where there is so much to do. There, if you go down Tarpon Avenue in Tarpon Springs, which is this road right here, I'm going to zoom out just a little, you have all kinds of things. And there is, uh, you know, if I zoom in, you've got Copenhagen Cafe, you've got uh, Backdrops Pizza, 
You've got the Replay amu Amusement Museum, which is where you can go and play all kinds of old school video games. That's a pretty fun place. You've got Johnny's Tap House Bar and Grill. You've got, uh, there's a whole bunch of places, Bistro, Tarpon Tavern. You've got a brewing company over here, an antique store. You've got, uh, there's a couple of other things down there that aren't even really showing up on my map, but downtown Tarpon Springs has really been revitalized in the last few years. One of the greatest places to go as far as cuisine and uh, food and <laughs> cuisine and food, that's the same thing, right? But as far as, you know, just being able to go and hang out, there's a coffee shop down there, a couple of them actually. So I love that area. Now, Tarpon Springs is also known for its Greek heritage. So you've got to think about the fact right over here is Craig Park, which this bayou is where they do the epiphany toss where they throw the they throw the cross into the water and all of the the young boys jump in and try to get the cross it's on epiphany on january 6th every single year which is another cultural fun thing to do but that leads me to all of the bayous like if you think about craig park which is an incredible place you can you can launch your kayaks here you can launch boats here you could play tennis you have a playground you've got the tarpon arts place uh, there's a lot of things that you can do right here but at the same time you're right on these bayous which is all of this water is just incredibly beautiful so if you want to live in an incredibly beautiful place tarpon springs might be the place for you and speaking of beautiful let's take a look at this park which is fred howard park you can go to the beach you can drive on the causeway you can hang out there's more park area over here that you can go and you can have picnics and you can have all kinds of fun times with your friends so basically if you're thinking about tarpon springs there's two great beaches there's fred howard and then there's this little one right here called sunset beach which is very small not very many people go here that aren't from Tarpon Springs. This is probably a hidden gem as far as what the, the Tarpon Springs beaches can give to you. So if you're looking for, you know, some quiet kind of secluded areas for the beach, then you might want to hit one of those two places. Now, there's all kinds of other things that I could tell you about Tarpon Springs as far as where it's located and what you can expect from there. I just wanted to remind you that the Tarpon Springs High School was their marching band was in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade this past year. There's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of Greek heritage. I didn't even get to the Greek restaurants in Tarpon Springs. Maybe I'll have to make a whole nother video just about those things so that you can, you know, if you love Greek food, you want to go and sit in one of the cafes, one of the great Greek restaurants in Tarpon Springs and just kind of soak it in. This, my friends, is one of the hidden gems of the west coast of Florida. I think Tarpon Springs could be a great place for a lot of people. So if you're thinking about moving to Tampa Bay, I would encourage you to check out Tarpon Springs and I will see you in another video. I'm gonna make a video about the pros of living in Tarpon Springs. I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna let you go watch that video right now.